Well, hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for July 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, this is your monthly reading for July. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the delay it has taken me to get this reading to you, but unfortunately I had a bit of an allergic reaction, so it really took me out and my voice went and everything like that, so I'm nearly back to best, uh, but I'm well enough to do your reading, so I just want to say thank you so much for your patience and let us begin. Also, I want to uh, wish all those wonderful Cancerians who've already had a birthday, I hope you had the most wonderful time and of course happy birthday to all those wonderful Cancerians whose birthday is yet to come. Um, I can't believe we're in July already but here we are. The year certainly is flying past real quickly. Um, now of course we have moved into your wonderful season. I love your season uh, because on a personal level July is the month where you'll be feeling more focused on self-care, your nearest and dearest as well as a place that you consider home. Okay, Creating a peaceful supportive environment uh, based Basically letting those you care about know how much you love them and opening yourself up to their love and appreciation too without sacrificing your own needs for others. Um, so I would say definitely expect a yearning to nest or at least, you know, do some DIY around the home space, reorganize or declutter your life in some way. Also, you'll be reaffirming important relationships to you, spending good quality time with those who mean the most and prioritizing the simple pleasures in life as well as reconnecting to what brings you joy and fulfillment. Now, you may feel compelled to take a vacation during this period, especially as uh, it's in and around your birthday season. Um, you'll definitely be adding more fun things to do on your list. Uh, a lot of you will be thinking more about going solo on self-care endeavors, really sitting with your Yourself, doing a lot of uh, personal development and self-reflection. Uh, you know, I'm only taking the uprights in this deck, just so you're aware. That's why I turned them around. I mean, I'm not surprised to see the moon there. So deeply reflective month, soul searching, especially if you're hitting a milestone birthday, you're going to be thinking about life, the journey that you've had so far, where you're taking life to next, deepening your connection with self, at the same time, focusing on your life's purpose and the future, of course, as well gaining a lot of insights about who you are and just learning more about yourself as you sit with self there as well, okay? Now, of course, uh, this month, it really is a nurturing and caregiving month, focusing on what you value the most, but on a deeper level, there are also a lot of other shifts going on behind the scenes. The new moon on the 5th of July opens a powerful gateway to reconnecting to a part of yourself that you meet may have, let me get my teeth back in my mouth, that you may have felt that you lost touch with. Uh, there's actually a new awareness opening, giving birth to new ideas, new adventurous pathways are opening up for you as well, and your emotional compass guides you at a heightened pace this month as you rediscover what you're capable of, setting higher, healthier boundaries, and truly relating to the world around you to vocalize your needs, and most importantly, having your needs met as well. It's a time of asking how do you feel and then setting intentions in and around that to create more stability and security in your life and your relationships. Now of course we also have Sirius, the most powerful and brightest star in the sky, encouraging a deep soul-searching quest to ask bigger philosophical questions. Um, 
And it's really about the next steps of your path to reestablish your independence, get organized on healthier life practices or routines. Plus, we do have Jupiter, planet of prosperity and expansion, passing over Aldebaran, which is often called the Eye of the Bull. Uh, and this is considered the luckiest star, amplifying real opportunities for better luck and surprising positive outcomes. Now, of course, with every positive, there is always an opposite. Don't really want to say negative negative because I don't feel it's negative actually. Uh, we have Saturn retrograding until the 15th of November which can lead to second chances or more opportunities to re-evaluate, revisit in order to improve some sector of your life. So it's not negative at all really. Saturn retrograde However, it does have the potential to dampen our fun a little bit as it really demands that you get organized on making your life run more smoothly without overstretching yourself so you have more time for you. Um, but this retrograde slowing everything down, it can actually help you rather than hinder you as it kind of takes the pressure off slightly so you can pause and prioritize on what's really important. Now, this month, of course, by the same token, it can amplify delays, which can frustrate, especially if you're traveling. Saturn retrograde it tests and teaches us lessons on patience. So do watch out for that as well there. Um, I'm looking at your chart and I'm seeing this sense of wanting to have adventure, but also wanting wanting to withdraw. So maybe you're going to have a bit of an inner battle about being a little bit more sociable, but at the same time going, you know what, it's too peoply out there right now. I'd rather just go into my shell and be cozy at home. So I feel like you're going to have the balance, the best of both worlds there for you. Um, but uh, I also want you to be aware that, of course, we have the second full moon in the sign of Capricorn uh, this month, which is unusual. It's like a blue moon, and it helps you reassess your workload or your projects or where you spend your time the most, helps you release money blocks too, amplifies ambition, which will return as the delays subside. Now, this is a time where you can get busy accomplishing your goals and uh, feel really proud of yourself that you've got a lot done. I would like to say on a global scale, we do have some volatile energy to be a little bit mindful of. Mars conjuncts Uranus on the 15th of July, and this can lead to some major shakeups, some reshuffles of leadership, people stepping down or, you know, being nudged out of their positions, if you know what I mean. Uh, shocking events or news stories, as well as conflicts or confrontations. Very intense and unpredictable energy. Mars is very fiery, of course, and Uranus is a shocking planet. It's like a rebellious planet there as well. So the two together, you know, there can be this revolutionary kind of energy, like nothing will be the same after this moment. So on a personal level, it can be a revelation that suddenly you realize you've had enough of accepting a certain behavior or accepting less than you truly deserve in a situation and you draw a line in the sand and say that is enough I'm not going to take it anymore and you put practices in motion for you to really stand your ground and get what you need from life so it's not all negative it can be really positive it gives you the power to be precise and direct about what it is that you want okay um, also it can be an event for you as well it doesn't have to be a revelation uh, but it certainly can be an eye-opening time so if you've been coasting and meaning to like finish a project or tackle that cupboard that you've been meaning to get around to organizing you know this is the month where you are going to face anything that you've been sort of resisting and say enough is enough I got to get clear on this and you're even going to call yourself out on it so every sign is going to call themselves out on their stuff this month um, but also I'd like to mention of course that we have Pluto being very active and over the last couple of months um, there's been some critical exposés that will continue I've been mentioning this for quite some time but it will bring anything that's been hidden from the collective to light, okay? And it could mean there's some shocking exposés there as well. Uh, it's really about dishing the dirt on things going on behind the scenes or even people in the public eye. And this will continue. Also, the latter period of July is all about extremes. You know, I really hope I'm wrong on this, but uh, expect some major or freak weather events like earthquakes or hurricanes that are stronger than usual for the time frame that we're in, okay? Uh, these may even be in places that are not typical, so watch out for that. And as we move out of your season, my beautiful Cancerians, you know, this can affect water levels as well. So, um, it's something to keep our eyes on as we move into Leo season. Now, the Mars-Uranus conjunction can also uh, increase electrical storms, which can disrupt 
power outages, things like that. So social media platforms, apps may also have glitches. I mean, these things are temporary and they happen all the time. Let's face it, the earth is evolving. It is reacting. We are all energy and, uh, you know, we are a very energetic planet. So Electrical storms, hurricanes, things like that, earthquakes, they're nothing new, something that happens all the time. But we're going to see an increase in the frequency, but also in the power of them. So uh, I always say that, you know, storms, whilst they are quite destructive energy sometimes, uh, they do clear the air symbolically. So in terms of our own personal development, if you've been going through anything that you've been struggling with, I see you coming out of a storm or out of a struggling period into a a peaceful, more calm environment as you move through July. However, the weather systems, maybe not so much, okay? Uh, now, also, um, I want to uh, let you know that I'm actually bringing back the free personal reading competition. Uh, unfortunately, due to circumstances beyond my control, I was not able to offer one for quite some time, but now these issues have been resolved. So here I am opening it up again, and I'll talk more about that uh, a little bit later on because a lot of people, they don't want to um, you know, get involved in the competition. They just want the reading. So I'm just going to get straight to the reading now, and at some point I'll get to the competition. Your first card is the moon card and of course it is a cancerian energy so this is about honoring your deeper sensitive side this month you're going to feel a little bit more emotional but you're recognizing that your emotions are your superpower and I feel this is what's guiding you your intuition is really strong especially during the period where uh, you know your birthday falls so you may have been feeling it for the last couple of weeks because we have been in your season since June of course so uh, this is more about amplified uh, spiritual gifts, developing your uh, intuition, but also it's about looking at your hopes and fears this month. And of course, Cancerian season is all about relationships. It's about people that you really care about. It's about following your heart and you know, your first house is governing you at the beginning of the month, of course, and that's all about your identity. It's about revamping your look in some way. You may feel called to do that. Maybe have some new additions to your wardrobe in some way. It's not all about aesthetics. It's more about who you are, what you stand for, your belief system. You're looking at what makes you unique this month, what makes you stand out from the crowd. Now, you don't tend to like to stand out from the crowd, uh, but I feel like you naturally shine. Okay? Okay, so you may even surprise yourself this month in really wanting to step into a spotlight or let yourself be seen, whether that's in terms of your career, whether it's in terms of the neighborhood, the community, within your family. Of course, you know, this is a time period where you're going to be celebrated um, by the people who care about you the most. But this is a major soul searching month for you. So I'm not surprised to see that moon card there. It does indicate that you really deeply soul searching to look at areas where you feel unhappy so that you can make changes in your life and focusing on those changes will make things better. You'll take steps in the right direction in order to uh, implement those changes. But also I feel, um, you know, you're going to be looking at your fears as well so that you can conquer fears. I actually see some of you uh, deciding to really look at your fears. Maybe this is something you've been contemplating for some time. Maybe it's something you've been working on for some time but I definitely see you conquering a fear in the month of July in particular, okay? Uh, now, of course, the moon card, it can be that there's a bit of an inner battle between independence and, of course, um, you know, a little bit more of um, companionship. So... What I mean by that is that, of course, you want to spend time with your nearest and dearest, but also you are an independent soul. So you may want to go off and do your own thing at some point. I feel like you're getting the best of both worlds. There is a duality there. Uh, some of you may also be looking at more independent practices in your life because, of course, we have the uh, wolf there. Uh, it's normally a wolf and a dog, okay, but on this card, there's two wolves. But the wolf represents, of course, that independent pathfinder, making your own way. So some of you beautiful Cancerians may strike out on your own this month to either launch a business or if you are already an entrepreneur, it could be that you're branching out. You're really following your dreams because, of course, the moon card is all about your hopes, dreams, wishes. So I definitely see that launching something would be quite exciting this month. And you've got the hermit 
twice at the end of the month. And that is a card to go solo if you are in a career endeavor. So I definitely see uh, some of you, because you've got so many cards of duality, you may do something that is contracted that you have for a long time, but you may also set something up like a startup that is creative in nature. It's like a dream job, perhaps that you're orchestrating behind the scenes right now, and you're about to launch it. Now, looking at your energy, I feel that, um, yeah, four cups, I feel like you'll get an opportunity to launch it, but somehow I feel it's like you're logistically getting everything in order before you do it a little bit later on. So it almost feels like some of you may launch it a little bit later on in the year, but you're just busy getting everything organized at this moment in time. Um, now, for those beautiful Cancerians who have not had their birthday yet, maybe I shouldn't say this, okay? Um, Oh, okay, well, I'm going to have to say it because I've started. I hate to leave anyone on a bit of a cliffhanger, but I do see someone who loves you so dearly having a bit of a surprise for you, okay? It's a really nice surprise uh, is what I'm seeing here. Um, you don't see it coming. Intuitively, you may feel like something's off, like, hmm, they're acting a bit strange, but they're actually, you know, doing something to basically show you a token of appreciation, of love. So I see a nice little surprise winging its way to you in July. Whether you've had a birthday or not in June, I feel like July, there is a nice surprise coming towards you. Also, I feel that uh, with the moon card, you're going to feel a little bit like withdrawing a lot this month, but also I feel you're being drawn out of your shell, as it were, to go on adventures. Um, I also see with the um, chariot card in the resistance position, and the Page of Wands there, some of you may change travel plans or delay travel plans in some way because it is in the resistance position. So um, I feel intuitively you're doing the right thing. Um, I mean, the Ten of Cups there, I feel, you know, you're going to have a wonderful time. And when you go on this trip or this travel, because some of you may be taking a vacation, um, I'm really getting a sense here that... Um, well, there may be a bit of a delay when you take this travel. I don't like to say that, but we do have uh, Saturn retrograding, so there can be some delays there. Um, but also, no, I'd say take a good book um, because you may be there for like over an hour delay is what I see. Uh, but for the rest of you, I feel some of you may actually decide to change plans, but you're going to have a wonderful time wherever you're at, okay? Uh, now, of course, the moon card, it's a card of caution. So um, it can indicate that that with the uh, Queen of Swords there and the Page of Wands, some of you, you know, you may be starting something up that is new to you, or you may be, you know, deciding to go on an adventure somewhere. Um, and it feels like, you know, you are exploring new places, new faces, new experiences. And whilst it's thrilling, because of course, the Page of Wands there is a card of excitement, enthusiasm, the Queen of Swords is like a little bit reserved, like, okay, detached, let's see how it goes. Okay, so some of you coming out of your comfort zone is definitely something that I see happening for you this month. Whether you're going on a vacation or not, I definitely see that you are almost like testing yourself in some area of your life. Um, now we've got the Queen of Swords there. Okay, uh, the Queen of Swords is a card of organization. So this month you're going to be totally on it, hitting your targets, whether you're going on a vacation or not. This is about you, you know, really setting healthy boundaries as well, strong self-esteem, making really shrewd decisions and calculating. Uh, by calculating, I mean some of you are planning um, something, strategizing something. Now this could be... Um, an adventure because of course page of wands is adventurous energy uh, but it could also be that you're taking the initiative to run with your passions and launch something or do something new for some of you this could be a new job endeavor or a new project that comes your way and you're just getting really organized before you start it um, for some of you if you're in college for example it could be that you're um, reading a set list to get information before you start a course, for example. Um, it's like you getting ahead of the curve before you do something. Um, it's almost like you're preparing for something and um, whatever it is, you're just gonna have the most wonderful time uh, doing whatever it is that you're doing. But tapping into something a little bit deeper here, I feel some of you have been feeling that even though you have lots of goals and dreams and you are really on target to accomplish whatever it is that you're reaching for in life right now, some of you may 
may feel um, that you've been a little bit stuck or it's almost like you know where you want to go, but there's this feeling of being on autopilot. And it's really weird because this feeling is actually coming out for pretty much every sign. I can't even think of one sign that hasn't got the chariot card in the resistance position. It keeps showing up. Okay, so, um, and it's for every sign. It's almost like this feeling of not losing direction or it just feels like, you know, you have been existing and, you know, you want to now live to reignite that passion for life, that lust for life. So I feel some of you are looking at projects that perhaps you used to do when you were younger or uh, hobbies or you want to take action on new adventures. And it almost feels like you've been coasting, even though you've been super busy. And I feel like you are going to be very busy over the next coming weeks and months. I do feel there's a lot of productivity here, but it's almost like you're going, okay, there's an energy of being detached somehow with the Queen of Swords energy. And again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It just feels like you're being really honest with yourself right now and saying, okay, how do I reignite this lust for life? You know, I feel like you're eager to get out there and do something. And, you know, you may have not had the time to do it, but July feels very much like the moment where you turn things upside down and just go for it. For some of you, it could be that you're trying to relocate or uh, you are trying to launch something. Or for some of you, it could be that, you know, you are looking for a relationship. You've got the Hermit card twice here. So it can indicate some of you are feeling a little bit isolated or alone in your circumstances or you know you're trying to enjoy your independence because you're someone who is self-sufficient you are someone who is um, you know really bold and daring and very strong I feel like you've had to be strong circumstances have taught you to be strong um, and I feel right now that you know you are looking at especially if you're single you know do you want to find love and if the answer is yes because I feel like you've had a life of independence where you don't need anybody, but you may want somebody at this time, I feel like you're going to put yourself in a position to meet new people. And I feel there is chemistry between you and someone new very, very shortly. But I feel it's going to be an energy of, you know, organically moving towards getting to know each other in a deeper way because some of you may have gone through a heartbreak or a sadness or you're dealing with a lot right now and you're like okay I just want to take it slow because the chariot card in this position indicates you don't really want to rush into anything this month and I feel organically you and this person will get to know each other um, and then it will become you know, like a relationship later on is what I see there. So if you are looking for love, this is a good month to get out there and meet people. But I also see you're doing something that you're enthusiastic about, whether it's a sporting event, whether it's a festival, whether it's uh, just going out and letting your hair down and being uh, with your friends and having fun. I feel I just heard life and soul of the party. So maybe it is something that you're doing for your own birthday, or perhaps it's that you go to an event and you are the life and soul of the party, or perhaps this person you're about to meet is. So please take it as it resonates. Uh, Queen of Swords is really a card of basically strategizing for the future and leaving the past behind. You know, what I love about this card is there's a dove, okay? So you're just trying to uh, cut things out that basically mess with your peace. You're trying to create a sanctuary of peace for you and your family. Uh, Queen of Swords energy is really uh, an energy of being very clever in your life, um, having to make a decision, you know, really kind of analyzing something, getting lots of knowledge before you make that decision. And I feel with that Page of Wands energy, there's actually some news that will come in at the beginning of uh, July for you that makes you feel quite excited, okay? It's almost like I'm being given this energy that it's not quite celebration time yet for this news that comes in, but it also feels very exciting, whatever it is. So perhaps it's news that doesn't warrant uh, a celebration at this point, but it feels like something really wonderful is coming in towards you and you're going to be 
excited and then celebrate maybe later on is what I'm being given there. Uh, now, of course, the page of wands is about taking the initiative on your plans, especially when you have these two cards together. So something you've been dreaming about, maybe um, you have been meaning to get around to do, it feels like it's happening for you this month. And um, the page of wands energy really is about you kind of tapping into that lust for life again. It's about you kind of like even thinking about learning something new. I mean, this is a big month for hobbies for you in particular, you know, really leading with your passions, things that you love doing. Finding your purpose is also a big one. So if you've been feeling a little bit lost or drifting recently, I mean, I can definitely see that some of you have been super drained and, um, I feel like you've been trying to rekindle a part of yourself that perhaps you feel like you've lost touch with. It's led you to a lot of soul searching. And for some of you, you're looking at uh, where you feel disenchanted in life or where you feel people have let you down or you've been disappointed or your expectations have not been met and you're really looking at it and I feel like you're turning it around taking the initiative but also taking ownership of how you feel and seeing that you know that you are the hero or the heroine of your own story and you're taking charge in some way so that you don't have to rely on others uh, even though I do feel with that ten of cups there you have a lot of people around you, a very strong support network of people who deeply care about you. But I also feel there's something here that is on your mind that you feel like you have to do for yourself. So some of you, it could be that you're going back to college, you're going back to class, or you want to learn something, or you feel like you have to rekindle this sense of purpose. Uh, for some of you, it's that you have to go traveling. I just feel like there's this urge for you to do something in a solo nature. Um, I mean, it could also be a spiritual development class that you're on, or perhaps it's a spiritual path that you're embracing that other people, they're not on right now, or they don't get right now, but that's okay, because this is your journey. And I really feel that your whole month is about your journey this month. And maybe that's because, you know, it's a uh, birthday time. And whenever we reach a birthday milestone, um, it's basically kind of like triggers you to think about, you know, your past, how far you've come, who you you are, uh, the experiences you've had and how they influence you and where you want to go next and visualize what you want for the future. Now, this card, of course, although it's in the resistance position, it will go into the upright. So this is a card of success. So if you feel like you haven't got to where you want to be right now, know that things are turning in your favor and everything is coming together as it should. Uh, the chariot card is a card of making progress. And sometimes you know, we feel like we're in the midst of uh, chaos or change and it feels like we're not making progress. But in the month of July, you're going to see how far you've come and that you are making more progress. So I feel this is a card of success for you, uh, your dedication and commitment to basically anything that you turn your hand to because you tend to give your 100%. It is going to pay off for you. But what I see here is the chariot card and the high priestess with the ten of cups your dedication, shall we say, right now in the month of July seems to be about your spiritual path and your family or the people you consider your nearest and dearest. So whilst, of course, money and, you know, uh, paying bills and all of those things, they are very, very important. I feel right now, especially this season, doesn't mean that next month it's going to be different, but this season for you is really about the people that, you know, you really um, let into your inner circle. And with that chariot card energy, some of you may be thinking about relocating or some of you are traveling to see family or uh, family are traveling to see you is what I see there for the month of July as well. Because the chariot card, of course, is, um, you know, a travel card. Now, there's another message I don't particularly like to give, but however, I have to give it. Um, the chariot card with the uh, ten of cups in the resistance position. If you have a family car, for example, there may be some work that needs to be done. Okay, and with the high priestess present in the resistance position, I would say if you're given a quote and it seems too high, shop around because I feel there is uh, the potential here for you to uh, put your car in the garage and they do some work on it, give you a very high bill, and then you may have to return, okay, because they did a bit of a shoddy job on it, okay? I don't like to give that message there. But also I feel for some of you, 
if you intuitively know that you have to, you know, get something done on your car and you've been putting it off, unfortunately, I feel July will be the month where the car says, okay, we can't wait anymore. We got to fix this now. Okay. So I feel some of you, you may have some minor because the tower is not present, some minor issues regarding uh, your car, something needs to be fixed there. Uh, I mean, for some of you, it's just like fine tuning. And uh, there may be uh, someone, especially if you haven't used a particular garage before, if they say, oh yeah, we've been fine tuning it and we found that you need this, 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 and this replace, and it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Again, I would say shop around, okay? It's not that they are, um, you know, doing anything dodgy, but I do feel that they are overpricing. Okay, so just watch out for that. And um, yeah, so we do have the High Priestess there. And of course, this is uh, basically a card about um, the subconscious mind. Not only is it that, it's really about sitting deeply with your thoughts. It's about reestablishing your belief system. It's about developing your intuition. And some of you, especially with the Chariot card, you may have been pushed and pulled in so many different directions recently. You've been so busy, you haven't had a moment to sit with self. But but this month is going to be different. Things are going to slow down a little bit for you there so that you can actually, um, you know, tap into your own needs and give yourself good quality time. Um, also with the High Priestess energy, as you can see, this figure is protected even though there's a bit of a sandstorm there. So I do feel if you've been challenged recently, you're going to find peace in the month of July, okay? I really get a sense here that you're protected during difficult times. And I mean, the High Priestess is also a card of, you know, not waiting when it's in this position. So I really want you to be aware that, um, let me see, it's like these two cards, it's like you may have put something on hold or put it in delay, okay? And it could be a project, it could be something that was on your mind. You're like, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow or I'll do it next week and it never comes around. July is the month where you are going to get it done, okay? Because I'm being given this energy that, you know, you're not going to wait anymore. You're just going to get it done. Um, but also the High Priestess is a bigger philosophical energy and it's more about you basically showing up for yourself and also recognizing how strong you are, okay, um, in situations where you've had to be strong. So I also get this energy that you're almost like having a bit of a review of your life right now um, and looking at the next steps of your journey, things that you really want to do that bring you joy. But most importantly, this month, and I feel like some of you are just looking at developing your spiritual path, knowing yourself a little bit deeper and taking that good quality time for yourself. I mean, for some of you, and this is not all of you, but I feel some of you may uncover a secret, a family secret in the month of July as well, okay? Um, now, looking at the energy, I'm not sure how you feel about this, but I feel it's like you have a lot of wisdom, so you kind of understand why it was kept a secret. I feel like it's not directly... Um, affecting you, shall we say, but part of you is like, hmm, I wish I was told the secret. So there's a bit of a like a detachment there. But at the other side of the spectrum, it's kind of like, I understand why you did that, though. So I'm not really sure what secret it is. I'm not being given that. Uh, I feel it's like someone was doing something for themselves and they just didn't know how it was going to work out and they are just like cautious about telling anybody about it. That's the thing I'm picking up on. I mean, for some of you, it could be that there is some news coming your way that someone's pregnant, for example, um, or it could be that, um, you know, someone is, um, I don't know, going for a job behind the scenes and they didn't tell you about it. It just feels like you wish that they had told you, but you understand why they didn't. And it wasn't anything to do with you. It's more to do with them being cautious about jinxing it if they vocalize it. That's what's coming out there as well, okay? Now with the 10 of cups there, um, 
it's in the resistance position, so it's like you got it in the reverse. Some of you, you know, there may have been some conflict in the family unit recently, and that really puts you out of sync. It really makes you out of balance. You really don't like it, okay? So I feel, you know, the month of July, it kind of restores a level of balance, um, and I feel there may even be an olive branch offered if someone has been causing any issue or any problems recently or if there's been any sort of um arguments or discord i feel you know there will be harmony reigning again um because anything that's in the resistance position it will go into the upright but also the ten of cups is more about your peace of mind your serenity your good fortune and i do feel that some of you you may have been worrying about something, okay? Because these cards, it can be that you're worrying about move or you're worrying about travel or you're worrying about change or perhaps you're worrying about your direction. You know, there is an energy here of um, you feeling a little bit anxious about something. But what I see here with the Four of Cups is all is going to be well. You know, um, you're going to get lots of omens from your guides or from, you know, if you celebrate a religion or you know, you have a certain faith, you're going to get lots of signs and symbols to let you know that everything's going to be okay. And the universe is actually stepping in to bring you something that you've been yearning for for quite some time. And what I love about this particular card, there's an umbrella, which basically means you're protected during difficult times. So it often means there's nothing to worry about there. Um, but you do have the hermit twice. Okay, so this is really about withdrawing to uh, basically um, gain enlightenment about yourself, but also this is um, a knowledge kind of energy. So I feel some of you may decide to either go back to college or uh, take a class. could be online because you have the Queen of Swords there. Um, some of you are digging a little bit deeper on the secret, perhaps, that um, someone kept from you. You're going to know more about it. Uh, but the Hermit Energy, it really is a, uh, a card that indicates that some of you are just deeply reflective this month. And whilst, of course, you're going to be very busy and it feels a little bit different from last month, but kind of the same. It almost feels like business as usual. You're still focusing on your tasks, your responsibilities, you know, you're just doing life. But this month, it just feels like you're more insular somehow where you are just focusing on your hopes and dreams and wishes and you are going to get a wish come true because the Four of Cups delivers a surprise. Something that's been making you feel unfulfilled for quite some time is being removed and you are opening yourself up to other opportunities and this is where the universe steps in. As you can see this figure is reaching for the star which can be clarity so some of you may need to make a decision this month and it's a major decision and um, it affects you and your family and if you are trying to find a solution you may want to withdraw in order to get that clarity but I feel whatever decision you make number one it's the right one and number two I feel the universe bestows some benevolence upon you to kind of let you know that yeah this is the perfect path for you and you know there's some really good news attached to um, this wonderful moment for you there as well. Now, of course, I cannot ignore the fact that the Four of Cups there, the figure is sitting um, on uh, the sand on a bench with an umbrella. If you are going to sunnier climates, of course, protect yourself uh, because it could be very, very hot um, wherever you're off to. But the Four of Cups is more than that. The Four of Cups is more about um, you sort of like dealing with things head on rather than ignoring things. But it's also this energy of uh, some of you may have been discouraged um, on something, either when you were younger, may have knocked your confidence, or some of you may have been discouraged or had a disappointment recently. And the universe is showing you this month that um, you are almost reprogramming stuff that you've learned from childhood. Now that you're an adult, you're kind of making decisions for yourself and unlearning some of the things that you've learned. But also the universe is showing you that because you let go of something that wasn't meant for you, now the good stuff is showing up. Now the things that were meant for you are showing up. Whether that's a person, a situation, whether it's an opportunity, I definitely see the good stuff is now arriving 
Sometimes things are taken out of our path because they're not meant for us long term. Sometimes people come into our lives for a moment to teach us a lesson, to strengthen our healthier boundaries, to make sure that we uh, notice red flags and say, no, we do not accept that bad behavior because we value who we are. So I really feel that some of you have been tested recently, but I feel there's this energy of goodness happening for you, especially at the end of July. And of course, the Hermit, um, you know, a lot of self-reflection. You've got a lot of reflective cards here. Okay, I hope you are aware of that. So although it feels like um, there's not too much action going on, there are some big spiritual revelations going on for you there as well. Deeply reflective, deeply thoughtful about your path, you know, exerting your independence uh, whilst at the same time being deeply connected to the people that you really care about. And I'm going to pull some final cards because you do have the Hermit twice, okay? So that is a big sign that a lot of you, being very, very exhausted, that you need to take some rest. This is a period, it's like, if you have the luxury of taking a break, please take that break because I feel some of you are um, under a lot of pressure. I see you managing stress levels at this moment in time and just, you know, letting things go and breathing to recognize that what is meant for you will never pass you by. And this is a period where there are second chances. So if you feel like you've missed out on something, Know that it comes back around in a different form to you this month. So let me just pull a card. Uh, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, loving that. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is, of course, all about security. It's about family. It's about feeling secure and safe in your circumstances. But also, it's about attracting more wealth, okay? Uh, also, this is a card of implementing your knowledge to either upskill or or to increase your pay grade. Um, so I definitely see some of you may actually be offered a role uh, if you're in a career of doing something more like independently. So it could be that either you're launching something yourself and being your own boss, or uh, it can be if you work for a company that you're going to be given a prestigious project that you have to figurehead or that you have to start up. Or it could be that you are stepping into um, like some sort of I mean, it almost feels like, and don't get me wrong, it is a promotion, but it almost feels like it's the same level. It feels like it's not quite a promotion, if you know what I mean. But I do feel there's more money attached to it. So if you're in a career, I do see there's a potential for more income. Um, now, the Ten of Pentacles can also indicate some of you are involved in the family business and you may have been a little bit worried or cautious about the direction it's been heading in. Maybe there's been a few um conflictual moments, but I feel everybody gets back on track in the month of July and things just start working in more synchronicity and harmony there, which really helps you as well because, you know, uh, the most important thing to you are the people around you because you invest so much of your heart and your soul um, into uh, people, uh, especially your family and your friends. Um, I'm also, sorry, I'm being distracted here by um, someone looking at a recipe book. So some of you could be like learning new recipes or perhaps you are learning um, a new style of cooking for example it could be that you're literally just listening to this reading and reading a recipe book uh, maybe you're cooking a hearty meal for the people that you really care about or maybe you're investing in your own needs by cooking you know a really healthy hearty meal there for you as well uh, so I'm not really sure please take it as it resonates I mean symbolically it could be that you are deeply reflective this month on the ingredients in life all those ingredients that come together to make a whole rich life where you benefit all across the board in terms of love, in terms of excitement, adventure, relationships, you know, independence, all aspects of your life feeling fulfilled because all ingredients coming together, they make up you. So I feel it could be symbolically that you're just looking at adding a pinch of this, a dash of that, stirring things up and saying, okay, now life is getting a little bit more interesting and you're reigniting that lust for life. So maybe that's what that's about. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles, of course, it represents finances. It can indicate that you're working really hard to build a pension pot for uh, yourself later on. If you're retired, it could be that you are looking at your pension pot and 
you know, looking to see if you're secure, especially since the world at the moment, economically, there's a lot of fluctuations. You know, it could be that there's some level of anxiety there for you, but I see that you're protected, okay? So everything will work out as it should. So I, I actually see there's nothing to worry about, but some of you may actually be tapping into... Um, not just spiritual gifts, because I feel some of you may do something spiritually minded or go into a spiritual environment. Um, and that can be like meditation, yoga, Pilates, Reiki, something like that. Maybe this is something that you're desiring for you at this time, but it could also be something that you're thinking about starting up yourself. Or maybe it's a creative endeavor that you feel like, you know, you really enjoy and you implement it and it can attract more money for you. But it doesn't start off like you want to make money from it. It starts off from what makes my heart sing? What do I really care about? Because I feel like you want to make a difference in not just your own life, but also in the people around you's life as well there. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys and Angels. Uh, we have creation water. Now, also some of you, because there's a lot of sun there and protection, make sure you hydrate during this month, whether you are in the northern or southern hemisphere. Uh, hydration is always important. Um, but this is about your peace of mind okay and uh, it's really interesting that you've got these two cards one is uh, a card of being really sort of peaceful despite chaotic sort of surroundings there's lots of doves there so I really feel like this month for you is a reflective period where you are just trying to create sanctuary nurture care and of course we have speed there as well movement so I definitely see some of you are moving relocating or you're going to be in a rush you're going to be busy but it's also about being grounded during those busier times and making sure that you have space in order to have some me time but this card, you know, it is number 29. When you reduce it, 2 plus 9, of course, is 11. So that's the soul path number. And this is about being in the flow with grace and confidence, to be true to who you are and your emotions. If anyone has ever told you that you are too emotional, too sensitive, never listen to them. You know, people pay really good money to see counselors and psychotherapists in order to access some of the emotions that you have in like bucket loads, okay? So so I feel it's really important to recognize that your intuition and your emotions, they are your compass, your inner compass, but also they are your superpower. Uh, you tend to have a very uh, deep affinity with the people that you really care about. If you feel something is off with somebody, you know, you know, and then nine times out of 10, you're right. So I feel, you know, this is about deepening your connection with the people that you really care about. Um, but also this card is um, you sort of not allowing yourself to become stagnant in life. It's a card of, you know, being in the flow of creation. Creation is your birthright. You know, humans, we came here um, and our natural affinity is to use our hands to create. It's to make our mark in the world, identity. And really interesting because your seventh house is actually influencing the latter part of your month. And that's all about partnerships, people in your everyday circumstances, the people you deal with, anyone who basically destroys your mental peace, you're staying well away from them. And um, this is about you deepening your alliances and partnerships. So I really feel your whole reading is about that this month. Um, also, you know, um, these partnerships can be in business, romantic partnerships, friendships. You're just going to be really discerning about the company that you keep. And uh, this is also a card that indicates that you are right now more inclined to consider what is vital to your happiness. And it's almost like you're measuring up your life in some way and making sure that you seek it. You're seeking what your heart desires at this time. Um, now also, I mean, some of you are called to the sea. Definitely. There's a lot of water going on there for you. But also we've got speed, movement. Now, if you do have this deck at home, it's a beautiful deck, the Elemental Oracle deck by Stacey DeMarco there. Uh, this card literally means that you are uh, basically focusing on what's important. 
you know, uh, savoring the experiences or you're called to try and savor the experiences that you're having with people that you really care about uh, and watching the speed in which you do your activities, such as eating, working, do you give yourself time, you know, and if not, it's time to slow down the pace there. But also it's about not wasting time. So, um, and I have to acknowledge that this figure is literally leaping across the world. Okay, so some of you could be making that leap to emigrate or uh, to relocate, perhaps that's something that's on your mind for later on. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles can also be that as you've hit a birthday sort of milestone, you're thinking about your legacy, you know, what you stand for, your belief system, the wisdom that you impart. Um, some of you may even be thinking about writing a book because you've got that Queen of Swords there. Um, documenting your experiences so that you can hand it down to either other people or your family, friends, you know, maybe it's a blog, maybe it's a diary, whatever it is, I feel this is about you documenting your experiences for some of you. Um, but also, I mean, these two cards are really important because we live in a very fast paced environment. And my beautiful Cancerians, you tend to be a very old soul. You like tradition, you like to know where you're at, you like to have relationships with people where there is a deep bond, you know, all this sort of like, on the surface connection, it doesn't work for you. You like to get invested in who people are. And I feel this is about you kind of, even though life is pretty busy, it's about staying grounded and connecting to what's most important to you at this time. And it kind of is amplified this month. Okay. So uh, it doesn't feel like um, a month where lots of things are happening. Uh, I want you to be aware of that. Still things are happening, but it feels more that you are very much in a deeply reflective phase this month about what's important to you and making some changes based on that. So I'm just going to go and get a trinket or rune before we close. We've got two rune here. Okay. Now your first one is the ice rune, which is all about static energy. Okay. So if you have been feeling stuck or you've been feeling a little bit on autopilot, you're really reconnecting with your emotions this month connecting to that lust for life and things are thawing out for you. Life is going to get a little bit more busy, but in a very adventurous way. Um, also, when you get this rune, this can be about energy loss. Some of you have been exhausted. I feel you should be a little bit cautious about um, your environments because you know, some environments could be taking a bit of a toll on your nerves. So you may want to go uh, to a place where there's nature or to a more quiet environment. Uh, but also I feel some of you you know, you may actually seek guidance because, of course, the hermit energy can be guidance. Some of you may seek guidance from a practitioner and locate the reason why you've been feeling shattered. They're actually giving me the word shattered there. So it could be that uh, perhaps... Um, I'm, the main energy I'm getting, I've got to be honest with you, is dehydration, okay? So it could be that perhaps even though you drink loads of water, and I'm not a medical practitioner, so please check it out with someone who is, but I'm just going to give you intuitively what I can see right now and feel. Uh, even though you may be drinking like lots of water, it may be that there's electrolytes missing or perhaps, you know, uh, your body is not absorbing, you know, the nutrients as well as it can do. This could be due to stress or cortisol levels or something like that. So some of you maybe looking at that. Um, but I also feel like some of you are going through some major changes and it could make you feel just a little bit out of sorts, but you will recalibrate in the month of July. And of course we have the sun rune. Okay. Really exciting rune there. This is about, you know, positivity. It's about success. It's about enlightenment, but also it's about victory, clear vision, where you want to take the next steps in your life. Uh, I really want you to be aware that there is an increase of finances here, that there is, um, I would say two pieces of news. One is a piece of information or news or a letter, uh, or a correspondence where you're excited about it. Okay. Feels like you're not celebrating it just yet, but you're just excited. And then something else comes at the end of July that you are going to be so excited about. It feels like your heart is um, like just smiling and singing with joy, but it gives you something to reflect on because I feel it gives you options and you have to make a decision based on it. And it feels then you do the celebrating, okay? So it could be that you're given an option or a choice. Whatever it is, I feel with the Sun card and the Ten of Cups, there's just so much joy, good fortune, and well-being, and trying to find pleasure in the present moment happening for you in the month of July. 
And then uh, I do feel as you move into August, things really pick up pace for you, okay? So I feel a lot of you are getting organized now because perhaps you know that things are going to pick up pace in August for you. Um, and I feel like you're going to be reaching your targets. You're going to be very productive, but also you're carving out some time for reflection for you on your next steps of your journey. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press that little bell. It lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Also, if you would like to enter that competition, uh, please find a moment of quietness uh, amongst the busyness that's going on at the moment. Then play a song called you're the voice by John Farnham, okay? Then write down in the comments section below, I stand strong with an attitude of gratitude. Music, it raises vibrations. And since we are currently in a very critical point in the world, playing a song that raises vibrations is super important at this time. Now, of course, you don't have to like the song that was suggested by my guides. And if you really don't like it, then please choose another one that resonates more with you. The effect will be the same. It's just that my guides pointed me in the direction of that one. Uh, I mean, it's not really my style of music personally myself, but I really like it. And, um, you know, it does resonate in some way as well. So perhaps that's why my guides gave it to me. And um, since my guides gave it to me, I've actually already heard it. I mean, it's a song from like ages ago. And I was like, really? And it just like popped up. And uh, it's really wonderful how that synchronicity kind of happens there. But anyway, um, my guides will point me in the direction of one subscriber to win a free personal reading. And I'll announce that competition winner at the end of the month. Okay, so I'll leave it there. Thank you so much and love and light.